Google. I'm literally in Lisbon. I just literally went to the supermarket. Honestly, guys, I don't know what to buy in the shops. I did not know what to buy in the shops. I literally found my mum was like, I don't know what to buy. Um, but I'll do you a little haul of what I picked up. But there's like um, there's like little like um stall which sells like alcoholic drinks and it's literally like looks over the sea and when the sun was shining on it earlier oh my god i'm in love and i've literally been here like not even five not even six hours this is what i needed like this is literally what i needed like i feel so good i literally have not left the country i've been to cornwall for two weeks i literally honestly guys i spent nearly every single day in my bedroom just working and this honestly is just so refreshing like it's just I can't believe I'm here, like I'm literally here. Shall I show you what I got on my food shop? I literally have so much wardrobe space. Like it's fab. It is good. Tuesday um, I just went to a flea market which was that was good actually to be fair like there were some really nice bits obviously there are some really nice coats and stuff but I was on the bike oh my god I thought his car was just gonna go downhill how cute is this pink building behind me I just took some pictures of Lynn's body but yeah I just went to a flea market I got like a little denim top for two euros but everyone was talking to me in Portuguese but the weather is stunning like how fucking gorgeous but I'm just gonna take days at concert I might find somewhere just to like sit down and get like a cold drink Hi guys, so I'm just walking up to one of the viewpoints, it's called, oh, I'll find the name of it, um, but it's so hilly, but I'm actually, the temperature is actually really, really nice, but I'll show you when I get there. Now that I found you stay, I love you. There was like these two men doing it as well. I was walking past. I was like, okay, why not? Um, I've seen this on. I can't remember the name of it. It's like go go brings with gay jean, but it's like a traditional like Lisbon thing. Oh my god, I look so bedraggled, but I don't think I'm gonna like it. But let's do it. Hmm, not bad. I think you can have it like, like chocolate or something like that. I'm not sure. very sweet I took a little detour um left like the viewing point oh my god it was so nice like honestly I'm literally just wandering around with like literally nothing to do and it honestly is the best feeling ever so I'm gonna I put in like the um cathedral as my destination but I kind of wanted to walk like I knew where I wanted to walk and it's kind of like in the same direction I just have to go across a bit so I'm just kind of like taking a detour and then like the map redirect me um, but yeah, like it honestly the weather is so good It just feels so nice to just be away from London. Like I can't even explain it guys and How cute is this with like oh. So I just went to the supermarket hoping that I would be able to get some stuff for dinner Honestly, it's so hard yesterday evening i didn't actually update you guys um i actually went for drinks with this girl um but i found on like a facebook group chat she's from 
near, near, near Liverpool. And it was really nice. We just got like two jugs of sangria. And we just literally chatted the whole time. But obviously, I'm not going to like whip out my phone and be like, hey, when I'm literally, this is literally the first time in this girl. Um, but yeah, it was good. It was fun. I got home at like, oh my God, my Uber. I booked from Uber and he was playing me. He literally went from two, being three minutes away to literally nine minutes away. And he just kept going further and further. And I didn't realise that you could um, like switch drivers for free. He gave me that option, so I did that. And he came straight away. Today I'm gonna go into like the centre bits. I was actually hoping there'd be a Primark close so I could get slippers, but the closest one is like half an hour drive and like it's in like a shopping centre, it's like the only place there, so I'm just I'm I'm not gonna bother. Oh no, this is actually wrapped around my necklace, not my top. Um but yeah, I need to get a pencil sharpen off my lip liners because I forgot one and they are blunt AF. Tote bag and let's go. I've been home about 25 minutes, I'd say. I went for, um, well, we were gonna go to like, this cafe, but we were waiting so long, but we just like, oh, my hair. We literally just like lost track of time, so we were just talking and we were like, wait, we haven't even like, got a table yet. So we went across the road to one of the kiosks and we just got a drink. Um, she was from Paris and she was really nice. And like, we were literally just chatting the whole time. And her English was so good considering that she, before she came here in September, she couldn't speak any English. So her English was so good, honestly. I English people are so bad at languages. Good morning, lovely humans. So, so I'm going to the castle. I haven't booked a ticket online. Like you could book a ticket online, but I didn't have like a time or day or anything, so I was a bit like, oh. Um, so I'm just gonna head down there. It's not very far. So if I do need to pre-book and go another day, I can. But I don't see why. Like I wouldn't be able to buy a ticket on the day. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna head there now. It's like 16 and like cloudy today, so I've just got this outfit on. So I'm at the castle now. This is a view from the castle, so that's where I was yesterday. And pressure the commercial is there. I woke up at half seven. It's now 8.03. I've got my breakfast. Um, just like the special K with like the chocolate in. So I'm at the 
Chris Ray. Um, it's so sunny and warm, like the view is insane. And I had literally the only spot in the shade and it was like under this like palm tree and I was like taking some sick pictures and videos. And this guy came up to me and was like, do you mind if I sit here? And I was like, um, yeah, like I mind. And, but language where I think he got a bit confused. And he was like, I'm bored. And I was like, okay. And he was like, um, are you here by yourself? And I was like, no, I'm with friends. And he was like, but they didn't, want to, but they didn't come today. And I was like, oh no. Um, they're working and he was like so what's your name and I was like Sarah and then he like was like nice to meet you and like spotted me and I was like okay yeah I'm going now it's really quiet here though considering it's like a Friday I don't think I updated you um so I'm out with this girl um and we had like such a nice like wine time wine time like we like drank wine. She studies wine basically, which is really cool. And we went to like a wine bar. We went to like another um, random bar, which is where we met these three girls. One was a Portuguese from here. The other one was from um, Hungary, like Budapest. And the other one from France, or lives in Paris. And they were just like such a cool girl. Good morning, uh, good afternoon. I'm really hungry. So I'm, I'm gonna go and get pizza. I'm gonna go to this place, Pizzeria Romana. Bio. It's got good reviews and it looks nice. So we're going. I went to a flea market this morning and ah, the jacket I got. Okay, we're not in focus. I saw this jacket and it was like on a stall where like everything was like in, on hangers and like very well organised and like some of the stuff there is quite expensive. Like um, this woman was selling a like it wasn't even in that great condition. Like it's a leather jacket for like fifty euros. So like, not the same woman, different woman. And out her stuff was all just like in a big pile where you'd assume that it would be cheap, but no. So anyway, I picked this jacket up and I couldn't see anyone to ask, so I put it down. And then this English girl picked it up and I was thinking, hmm, put that down now. I know I should put it down, but put it down. Um, anyway, she put it down and before I could go and get to it, her boyfriend came over and was like, I see anything you like. And she was like, yeah, this jacket and picked it up again. And then she put it back and then he was like, try it on. And was like, took it off, try it on, try and hand it to her, try it on, try it on. I could have lost this jacket. Like I was so close to losing this jacket. Like I genuinely could have lost the jacket. Um, anyway, they left. I grabbed the jacket. Well, no, actually, I didn't grab the jacket. When I was a woman, I said, all the jackets are the same price. And she said, no, all different, depends on the jacket. So she came over and I asked her how much, and she said, 15 euros. 15 euros for that. And I was literally like, yes. So I got it, and I'm upset. <laughs> Good morning, guys. I've made myself some breakfast fried egg, an avocado, some lemon juice. So, this day it's going to rain so I mean, It's like cloudy now. Um, I don't know if it will. Oh my god, my voice keeps going today. I don't know if it will, but I've prepared for a downpour. Let me just show you my outfit. <gasps> just took my shoes off quickly because um, you can't see anything. But Carhartt bag. No, Carhartt jacket. Not Carhartt bag today. No Carhartt bag today. This bag. Okay, and then just literally... Oh, I can't pick them up. A black and white superstar. <laughs> So I'm in the third one up this road and I overheard her saying to another lady that was paying up next week, I need to get the leaflet because she gave her a leaflet for like days. One of the days it's 40% of everything, so you know I'm gonna be coming back. Hopefully it's like one of this at the beginning of the week. I'm trying this cool like blue cardigan knit thing on. We'll see what it's like. Obviously not with this top, I'd wear a like little crop top. <laughs> 